Decorate the Fanatic here. Hey guys, I want to share a little project that I'm going to do in my bedroom today. But first, I want to share with you a couple things that I did in the bedroom to give my room a new updated look. The first thing I did was give it a fresh coat of paint. This is Benjamin Moore. It's a satin finish and the color is called Stargazer. So overall, I'm happy with the color, but definitely during the day, it looks different. It kind of looks a little lavender and then at night, blue-gray. So the next thing I had done, I had these wood floors installed. Now these are a birch wood, they're engineered, and the color of these are coffee. And these are also called hand scraped because they have ripples and they have little dents in them, which I absolutely love. So I am super excited about the wood floors. So then let me share with you a couple of the decor that I added to the bedroom. I got this lamp from Pier One and it's got one of these Edison bulbs. And it's kind of like a vintage bulb. Then I got these three mason jars that sit on a little wood tray. These came from Kirkland's. Then I added the flowers. Now the flowers just came from Walmart. And then this piece up here above came from Pier One. And then your home sign, this came from Kirkland's. Another piece from Kirkland's is my home pillow. I bought three small pumpkins. I painted two of them gray and one off-white. Now the biggest project of all is my bedroom furniture. Now I did this several years ago and this was a dark cherry wood. And the color that I used is called Home Plate by American Paint Company. So what I like about chalk paint is there is no prep involved. No sanding, no priming, you just paint over your old wood. This is my dresser that I did. Now when using white or off-white colors, you're going to need to use several coats of paint to cover up your wood finish. So what I like to do is I start on a piece of furniture and I'll give it one coat of paint and then I'll move on to the next. While I'm working on the other one, this one can be drying and then you can come back and give it a second coat. So depending on what kind of look you like, you may want to use several coats of paint to give it a nice white finish. And then also I took off my handles and I spray painted them with an oil rub bronze spray paint. When my furniture is all done drying, I like to use a 120 grit sandpaper and give it a smooth finish. Afterwards, you will be using a clear coat to give it that satin finish look. I also went ahead and painted the top of my nightstand. Now this is not chalk paint. This is Glidden from Home Depot and the color is called Espresso. So I thought this made it look nice with a dark top. Here I have a plant shelf and I have several other pieces that came from Kirkland, my two lanterns and my clock. This is going to be my project for today, this dark framed mirror. This is going to get painted with chalk paint and a little distressing, so let's get started. I'm almost ready to get started painting, but the first thing you want to do is protect your glass. Now if you'd like to use tape, you can use tape around the framing, but I like to use computer paper, so as you can see, I've already covered up the glass with some computer paper. Now the next thing you want to do is the surface that you'll be painting, you want to make sure it's dust free. So go ahead and get yourself a damp cloth and wipe your frame and let that dry. Now remember, when using chalk paint, there is no need to sand or prime. Uh, chalk paint does stick to anything. The paint that I'm using is American Paint Company and the color is called Home Plate. This is the same chalk paint that I used on my bedroom furniture, so I decided to go ahead and paint my mirror frame the same color. Now I have done several mirrors before in the past and I've always used spray paint, but the reason why I'm using chalk paint today is because I'd like to sand the frame and give it a little distressing so I can have some of the dark color show through. As you can see, this is going to take several coats of paint to cover the wood finish. My mirror has dried and I used four coats of paint. I sanded my mirror outside. You'll need a box or something you can rest your mirror on while sanding. I used a 220 grit sandpaper and this is perfect for chalk paint. 
Sanding the chalk paint will make your finish smooth. You can take your hand and run it along the frame and any rough spots you'll want to go back and use your sandpaper. Once your mirror is all clean and free of dust, we will be using a clear coat. The top coat that I'm using is American Paint Company and it's a clear. Now this is the same name brand as the paint that I used to finish the frame. But you could also go to Home Depot and pick up some polyurethane and a satin finish and this will work just as well. The clear coat is dry, my mirror is hung. This was a super fun project to do. It matches my decor perfectly. If you have any projects you would like me to do, just leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time, happy decorating!